in a game in which they let Jonathan Taylor run as well as he's ever run, but then they held Gardner Minshew to a hundred and however many yards passing. Dude, uh, like it was, it was really as as painful as it was to watch Jonathan Taylor run. You got to understand that was it, that was part of the strategy that they had to go with when they realized what was going on in the first quarter. And it wasn't, they could have executed it better to where it wasn't quite so dicey. But I think that D'Amico and Matt Burke actually deserve a lot of credit for, for managing that game the way they did. Cause it, it was painful. It was painful there at times, but they managed it really well. Yeah. I mean, it, it was a weird game from that standpoint, Seth, you're absolutely right. Like if you told me before the game, Jonathan Taylor is going to go for a buck 80 and they're going to quadruple your rushing total. Like they outrushed them. The Colts outrushed the Texans 227 to 60. And if you told me that before the game, I'm like, all right, well, they lost by three touchdowns. Yeah. You know, like it, it was just 227 yards rushing the Colts had. Yeah, you know? yeah, <laughs> yeah. But they only, but they had 120, they had 130 yards passing. Right. And that's, there it is. Like it's 2024. And it, 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 it reminded me of the Giants strategy versus the Bills in the Super Bowl yeah. when they had to say, all right, you know what? Thurman Thomas is going to get his, but we're going to keep you from killing us over the top. So Pittman gets Pittman gets three catches immediately right off the bat. Yep. And all I'm thinking, we talked about it in the pregame, like, man, they're really good on these quick hitters to Pittman. So they had to sit back. They had to take their lumps in the RPO game, which I think Steichen does a brilliant job with. And, and they just, because you've got CJ on the other side, you can afford to have that strategy.